today. My name is Grant Severetti, and I am a member of Kixie Sales Teams. One of the things I wanted to just share with you guys today is some of the information we've collected on our Kixie Power Dialer. Um, we've heard this constantly from clients, both big and small, that there's a, a, a constant need to dial down large volumes of contacts when making outbound sales efforts. Um, so what we've done here is pulled together a short tutorial here on how to set up both the auto dialer, but also use the auto dialer to call through a list of contacts. The first component to the Kixie auto dialer is the Zapier automation that's running in the background, which really acts as the engine behind the automation when placing your outbound calls. What you're seeing on your screen here is a simple four-step process that we've set up in Zapier. It starts with catching information from whatever CRM you happen to be using or whatever um, third-party spreadsheet you happen to be using that collects your guys' contact information. The second is we massage that information to make it usable for Kixi, which is some typical formatting of phone numbers. And then once we have the phone numbers in a position to be used and called down against, we can load them into Kixi for auto-dialing and power calling. The next thing we're going to want to do is send information from your CRM. And right now we're looking at our instance of HubSpot, but rest assured this uh, automation works with not only HubSpot, but many of the other CRMs we integrate as well. CRMs like Pipedrive, Salesforce, Zoho's, and many others. And what we're go going to want to do is fire off a webhook. If you're unfamiliar, a webhook is a a system um, used to send information from one system to the next that don't natively speak with one another. And what we're doing here in HubSpot is uh, creating a workflow so that when contacts enter into this automated workflow, this webhook will be sent off directly back to Zapier, which we were just looking at. The final component of this process is to curate the list of contacts you want to be calling out against. So on HubSpot, what we're going to want to do is go over to our contact lists. And from our contact lists, find the desired list of contacts we want to be dialing down against. For this video, I've actually created a pre-configured list of contacts for this demo. Uh, you can see I have three or four out here ready to be called against. And adding contacts to a list is super easy. All you have to do is select this button right here to select all of your contacts. Press the More dropdown enroll in workflow, and then we're going to assign them to the auto dialer demo. And while that's queuing up, just want to put this out there that we're happy to help you set up all the, any of the web hooks and Zapier integrations needed to run this automation. It's not terribly complex, but if you're new to the software, that might be a bit of a learning curve. So as you're seeing, we're having inbound calls come in. This is exactly the start of the queue. So what I can do is press accept. And I can have this call in real time. It's dialing into the person we want to be calling. And I'm probably going to get Jason's voicemail right here. So I'm going to end that call and I'm going to dispose of the call. And I'm going to say he did not pick up, so I left a voicemail. And I'm going to press save. And as you can see, the next call is coming in. I'm going to answer that call too. And perhaps from this one, he might pick up the call, he might not. If he doesn't, I have the opportunity to leave one of our cool voicemail drop functionality here as well with a single click, saving you a lot of time per call. And just like that, I left a voicemail there. And I disposed of that call. All of these calls are being logged and saved back into the Kixi, or back into the HubSpot CRM as we speak. And as you see, the call queue has ended and we're no longer receiving any more uh, inbound calls waiting to be disposed of. Although we only answered three or four calls in this small call queue here, you can make this call queue as large as you would like. If you have any questions, feel free to give one of our reps a call. 